What's up? What's up? Um, I told you I ain't gonna stop till someone hears this stuff. You know, I just like to write it though. And plus, I love history, like I told you. So I really like reading this stuff, and I like putting it in poetry. But I'm gonna tell you, I got some bad news. Now, we're gonna, like I always do, we're gonna get biblical. But um, we're gonna talk and walk it through. I walk it like I talk it. <laughs> Not really, because I'm a sinner. Listen, man, I sin. I ain't even trying to, like I'm, you know, righteous or nothing like that. I'm just telling you, this ain't right. That's what I'm saying. This ain't right. And, yo, man, listen. We was born in the church, man. My mom didn't play that. We went to all the sessions. Sometimes we had to go during the week, you know what I mean? You got to do what you got to do. But I always question this stuff because it never made sense. Now, John, I never liked reading this book because I always knew since I was a teenager it was fake. But listen, John 10, 34, that's where we're going to start. John 10, 34. Is it not written in your law, I have said ye are gods? Psalms 82, six psalms. Now, that's two times out biblical mouth. Hmm, okay. Go to 35. If he called them gods to whom the word of God came. And scripture cannot be set aside. Okay, so basically what he's saying is, uh, God said, is this what it is? <laughs> this what it is, Doug. You can't, you can't go about that. So now you done said it in Psalms 82.6 that you and me are gods. And we're going to die like men, but we're gods. And then he told him in John 10.34, I said it. You're gods. And you got to go by this because it's in scripture. Okay. Then we're going to go from there. This is when we take the ride. Per... As John described, Jesus was the walking truth. I mean, what the man have to do? His deeds were a uh, dynamis. Water the wine, healing winos, bringing down uh, fevers. Walk, you paralyzed person. I just saw that, you know, I just saw that one of them on the gospel channel on Thursday. <laughs> 38, I counted 38, and that includes uh, the, the uh, unscientific deception. Miracles, man. Let's keep reading. But they still accuse the man of blasphemy. Because he's God's son. What sense does that make? They accuse the man of blasphemy. He done did 38 miracles. What else the man got to do? Keep reading. Yo, man. Even if I say I did it, don't say I did it. Look at what I did. You know, in my words. But that's what he said. Yo. Ain't nobody showed and proved like this one. But the powers that build killed him. Before they killed him, though, he went back to John's crib and Michael Jordan. <laughs> so he went back to Jordan and all them people there, they adored him. King Herod wanted him. So he was wanted. But... That's even before. What difference does it make? Because actually, that was uh, Mary and Joseph. But he just ran away from the guys after they was calling them blasphemous. So you still want it. But for all accounts, all of this is wrong. And I'm going to tell you why. Because John was the only one that was blonde. Because he was made up, y'all. But 
now go back to your Bible. Now, now Jesus was hiding amongst the Egyptians. The Egyptians are the cursed seed of Ham, the father of Cush, Nubia, modern Sudan, Ethiopia, the Nile River. Now, we're going to history. I told you, all this stuff is rewritten history. I'm trying to tell you. I ain't going to talk bad about the Bible, y'all, if it wasn't true. That Bible ain't real. That is a rewritten story of something that happened a long time ago. And I'm going to say it again. Now, the first dynasty, Menes. M-E-N-E-S. Okay? Now, and you know what? Let me go back. Now, remember, this is where Jesus was sent. To Cush. Now, he was with these kids. Now, Menes was Pharaoh in uh, 3150 BCE. Okay? Now, he was known through history. Now, listen to this. As the first human Pharaoh of Egypt. Directly. And this is the catch. Directly inherited the throne from none other than the god Horus. Y'all remember Horus? Okay. Now, Menes appears in demonic novels of the Hellenistic period. Hellenistic. H-E-L-L-E-N-I-S-T-I-C. Period. Now, you gotta look that up because that's a long right. So, he's relevant and important. Okay? Now, Menes, now get this, Menes introduced the worship of the gods and the practice of sacrifice. <laughs> hey, yo, you know how he died? Crocodile aside. A crocodile ate him, y'all. A crocodile ate the great pharaoh. Promoted by the god Horus. Got eaten by a crocodile. <laughs> now you remember who Horus is, right? Horus is the OS. Not the OG, he's the OS. He's the original story of Jesus. And that's where I'm starting from. Fraud the Baptist. That's where I started from fraud. I mean John the Baptist. Top saint of the rapists. And then here comes in the Jewish. Same region, same story. You should really get worried. Peace, creation back.